Well, welcome to our senior showcase. My name is Joshua Mush, and I'm on a team with two other computer engineering students. They are Michael Halvern and Matt Nemeth. Our project was an automatic screening system for Cornhole. Our academic advisor was Philip Wilsey, and our professor was Carla Purdy. During this time of COVID, we have placed into place a mask mandate for all of us to wear masks when we're together and to also keep a distance of six feet apart. During the shooting of this video, we are all wearing masks except for the person speaking and keeping a six foot distance and the camera is on a tripod to keep that in place. Due to COVID restrictions, we have not been able to fully implement the project to our initial requirements, but we have implemented future work and are all going to stay together and keep on working on this project after our senior year has been completed. So into the project. Have you ever been playing cornhole and either lost track of the score or not been able to keep track? That's what we are aiming to fix. We have placed little RFID tags into each of the bags and then we have arranged an array of about 11 RFID antennas on the back of the board. So when a bag lands on the board, the RFID antenna sends a signal back to the switch. The switch sends a signal to the controller board and the controller board sends a signal back to the, R uh, the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi then processes the data and sends it onto the web app where the score is displayed as long as some of the future improvements include player statistics and where the bags are landing on the actual board. Now I'm gonna throw it off to Mike and he's gonna talk more about the hardware design. Thanks, Josh. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Halliburton. Um, and to start off with the senior design projects, we found some documentation online that depicted RFID multiplexing. Um, we decided to reach out and contact the engineer from Texas Instruments behind it, uh, Mr. Joshua Wyatt. Throughout the development process, he was very helpful in helping us come up with the size, shape, uh, materials, and circuitry um, to design all the antennas we have on our board. <clears throat> he was also pivotal in helping us create the circuitry for our custom PCB boards for both our controller board and our switch board and the tuning circuit boards. <clears throat> Taking a closer look, our Raspberry Pi is gonna act as our main controller unit for this project. <clears throat> It's gonna host the firmware and the web app. That firmware is going to use the SPI protocol to send a command to our RFID reader board. The RFID reader board is then going to generate the correct RF signal to go out and pull the unique ID from the RFID tags that are embedded inside of our cornhole bags. That RF signal is gonna travel through custom coax cable to our RFID switching board. We also utilize the GPIO on the Raspberry Pi to control the select pins of the switches on our RFID switching board. From there, the RF signal is gonna travel through custom coax cable out to all of the antennas. Zooming out, we can see all the 11 antennas that the switching board uh, is in charge of. What our firmware will do is loop through all 11 antennas Meanwhile, our, our reader board is looking for any tags that may or may not be there. After our firmware loops through all 11 antennas, we'll send all the information and data back to our web app. To talk more about our web app and the other software we have behind our project, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it over to Matt. Hey, thanks, Mike. All right, so my name is Matt Nemeth. Let's go take a closer look at the software side of things for this project. All right, so quickly jumping into the software side of things for this project. So for the automatic scoring system for Cornhole, we are currently running a Ruby on Rails web app with a MySQL database. I chose my uh, Ruby on Rails for this project due to the fact that it is a full stack framework capable of doing everything necessary for this project. The over the main function of the, the app is to simply display a Cornhole score which is not the most complex thing in the world. So the having a, f a f complete system to do something as simple as this 
uh, felt felt appropriate. So if we jump right into what it actually looks like, so here it is. It's very basic. Um, the game score is displayed here. So this is the you know they're displaying the previous round. So this is um, only a few rounds into a new game of cornhole. So if there is this, so you can see the previous round scores displayed here. So if there's ever an issue with these previous rounds, if you see the score was not recorded correctly, what you can do is you can follow these links and update the score so that it is correct, um, and the game will continue from there. So we can go ahead and start a new game. So are you sure? Okay, and then that will go ahead and reset the score and start a completely new game of cornhole. As I mentioned, we are we ran into some quite a few issues when developing the firmware of this project. So we focus of the app development was diverted to focus on debugging the firmware issues um, that we are currently still battling. So as of right now, in order to add new scores to test the app, we are doing this so manually instead of via web requests. Eventually, when it is on the internet, we will send these web requests to update the score, but currently we are only doing so manually. So that's the software side of things for this project. Thanks for listening. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out and ask us. Um, but thanks again for listening.